Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the Apito arcade stick on Bodicera. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to set up the arcade stick from Apito with Bodicera on a gaming PC. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to first set this up with Bluetooth and then I'll also show you how to set this up with the dongle as well. So first thing we wanna do here on our arcade stick is we wanna go up here and switch this option over to Bluetooth, which is labeled BT, not the 2.4G. So we're just gonna switch that over like so. We're also going to take this first switch and we're gonna turn that over to S. So just one turn over, so this is pointing that way now. You notice this starts to flicker. So we're gonna go into Bodicera now. Make sure that you use either a keyboard or a gamepad controller that's already been set up. And we're gonna just jump into our main menu. We're gonna go down to controller settings, select that option, and we are gonna go with pair a Bluetooth controller. So it's gonna say it's scanning in the top right corner, searching for controllers. And we're gonna go up here on our arcade stick to the green button, and we're gonna hold that down for about three seconds. And you're gonna notice that it's a little hard to see here, but these lights are circling right now. And up on our screen, we can see that it is pairing. And it says Pro Controller Connected. So we know that that has connected. So now what we're gonna do with our regular gamepad controller is we are gonna drop up to the top option, which says Configure a Controller. We're gonna select that. It's gonna give us a little message. We're just gonna confirm it, hit OK. And now you'll notice that it says two gamepads detected. So that's detecting both my regular gamepad controller that's connected and already set up on Bodicera, and it's also detecting the arcade stick right here. So we're gonna hold down any button on here. I'm just gonna hold down the um, A button here, and it brings us right into our mapping page. So we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna show you exactly what you want to map this as, because we don't necessarily utilize this portion of the labels on our particular controller here. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we wanna do. For up on our D-pad, we're gonna push our joystick up, for down, we're gonna push it down. For left, we're gonna push it left. For right, we're gonna push it right. Now for start, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna hit start. For select, we're gonna hit select. For A, we'll hit A. For B, we're going to hit B. For, oh, that didn't work, there we go. For X, we're going to hit X. And for Y, we're gonna hit Y. All this is exactly as it is labeled on here. A little hard to see, but it does have labelings right there, there, and uh, up here as well. So now we're going to do the remaining options here, which is going to be the um, L1, L2, R1, and R2 functions. We're going to bypass these analog stick options because we've already configured our joystick, which is our analog in this case, as D-pad. So we don't need to utilize this. So we're just gonna hold down any button we've already configured just to bypass these. So I'm gonna hold down my A button here and it's going to skip that option. We'll skip this option, this option, and this option. And now we get to L1, which is going to be your shoulder buttons. So for our left shoulder or L1, we're gonna go up here with this button, which on here is labeled as R. You can do this differently. This is just how I do it. I find that this works best for uh, the majority of arcade games. You can do this however you're comfortable doing it. Again, this is just my personal preference here. So we're going to hit that button. Now for right shoulder, which is R1, we're going to go with the button right below it. And now for L2, which is our left trigger, we're gonna go up here, so top right button. And for R2, which is our right trigger, we're gonna go with this button right here, right below what we just did. We don't need to utilize L3 and R3, so again, we can hit any button we've already configured, which at this point is everything on here. So we're going to just bypass these and go down to that hotkey. Hotkey is gonna be your select button, so we'll go up here and hit that. If you're not familiar with hotkeys, hotkey basically assigns a dual function to select, but you need to hit start and able to utilize the hotkey. So if you're in a game and you wanna exit, you would hit start and select at the exact same time to activate that hotkey function. So we're gonna confirm everything on here now and we're just going to hit B to do that. And that brings us right back into our controller settings. So if we wanna test this out, we can see we're able to scroll through our options using our joystick here. Um, we're gonna back out with our A button and we can jump into any of our collections. So now the other way to set this up 
on you know whatever platform or device you want to connect this to is to go the dongle route so if we just flip this up over here we have this little compartment so if we flip this out we have our dongle located in here so you can just close that up and you would just plug this into your pc if you're connected to a pc or raspberry pi or whatever you want to connect your arcade stick to connect that in and then all you need to do on here is flip this over to the 2.4 g option up here so again you can see we're currently on bluetooth because we just set everything up via bluetooth but you would just flip it over here and you would connect this and you're going to get an instant connection on there. You don't have to go through like a pairing process or anything like that because it's going to just automatically sync right up with the dongle on your device. So from that point, you would just go through your mapping process and you would follow those steps exactly as we just did with setting this up via the Bluetooth option. Mapping and everything is going to be exactly the same and you're gonna be able to get the exact same result in the end. You just wanna make sure again that you have this option here selected as the 2.4 G, not the BT, with, which uh, stands for Bluetooth, obviously. So now I'm going to jump into a arcade game. So let me jump into MAME here and let's find a good arcade game to dive into today. So let's see, what's a good one to test out? Let's jump into Batman. I'm not Batman. So we'll add our coins with select. We'll hit start. Be careful. And I gotta get the hang for this one. So let's jump into something classic. Let's jump into Pac-Man here and give this one a go. I think this will be great to kind of gauge the um, functionality here of the actual joystick since you have tight turns and whatnot in this game. So uh, select to insert coins, start to jump into the game. Same deal, select and add coins, start to get the game going. And uh, I'm actually gonna be Marge, that's my favorite. I know I get a lot of flack for that because most people love to be Homer or Bart, but uh, I love that she kicks people's butt with the uh, vacuum cleaner.
All right, so we just walked through the entire setup process here for the 8-bit arcade stick on Botticero. Super easy setup here. Um, we obviously have two different options for how we want to set this up. You can either do the Bluetooth option, which is what I set up here, or you can go that dongle route. Either way, your result is going to be the exact same thing. Performance is going to be exactly the same regardless of which way you go. I always go Bluetooth because it's one less thing I have to worry about. I don't have to worry about remembering to plug in the dongle. Once it's set up that first time, all you have to do is literally just power on your um, device that you're running Botticera on, as well as the 8 arcade stick, and you're good to go. It's going to automatically sync up and connect. You don't have to worry about, you know, pulling out the dongle, connecting it to your PC or whatever you're using Botticera on. It just makes it a little bit easier in my opinion. But uh, again, option is totally up to you as to which way you wanna set that up. But uh, performance is great on here. I love using an arcade stick because I feel like I generally use a PlayStation style gamepad controller for most games. But when I'm going into those retro arcade style games, I love to be able to just use the um, same setup that I would have had in the actual arcade. And the arcade stick is the closest thing to that. And with this particular arcade stick from 8 the functionality and performance is top notch across the board. So couldn't be happier with this product. Hopefully you guys are experiencing the exact same performance on your end as well. So that's gonna do it for today. If you guys have any questions on the setup process here, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help you guys out any way I possibly can. Again, that's going to do it for today. You know the deal. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel if you haven't already. I do a ton of different videos on here based around retro gaming. So product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials like this, uh, Forgotten Favorites YouTube series every Monday and Thursday night. Tons of great content on here. Be sure to subscribe. You can do that if you haven't already in the bottom right corner of this video. Just click the subscribe button and you'll instantly be in the loop for all future videos. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching.